with the help of these 12 verses when your mind is being totally persuaded to turn towards the higher in the cave of your intellect meaning in the center of your personality within yourself you come to awake to a new dimension of consciousness where exactly do you realize the waker when you are dreaming is it not the waker in the dreamer himself or is it the dream waker is some other place and another time the movement is only movement in one plane of consciousness to another and this higher stage of consciousness is already inherent in the lower plane in the dreamer himself is the waker hiding waker is not something different to be realized in a different time and place system is a movement not in time and place the movement is in one plane of consciousness to another this is indicated by saying that you have to realize it in the cave of your own heart or the intellect the waker is not away from the dreamer dreamer while dreaming is identified with the dream world of plurality projected by the dreamer's mind realize how far is the waker from the dreamer so far is this dreamen from you tatmasi o dreamer thou thyself art the waker only question no realize ah now what is it that is obstructing you from realize If it is so near, and the waker himself, I am myself as I am now. Myself is Brahman. Then why is it that I am not realizing? Is it a bluff that you are, or is it only encouragement to me to face the sorrows and tragedies of the world to make you understand that you are that? how is it that i am not able to experience what is it obstructing me from realizing my own true nature is being expounded in this section nyate vastun yapi balavati nyate vastun yapi balavati vasana nadiresha कर्ता भोक्ताप्यहमिति दृढा यास्य संसार हेतु प्रत्यक्ष दृष्ट्यात्मनि निवसता सापने या प्रयत्नात् मुक्तिं प्राहुस्तदिह मुनयः vasanatanavam yat so what is it that is obstructing and how am i to remove that obstruction these are the two questions that the student asks koma mabandha kathamesha agatah katha pradisthas katham vimoksha how is it that is maintaining itself in me and how is it that i can get out of it nyate vastunyapi 
even though you have jnate, you have understood it well. Four, five Upanishads, the Bhagavad Gita, the Guru's Thaan, or the Satsang, everything, and you know everything. Sufficient that you can bluff others. And other fools may misunderstand you as a realized. <laughs> what more do you want? All these can be. Nyade vastuni abhi. Even though you have learned and understood very well, what is the goal? How am I to reach? And what am I to, how am I to prepare my mind for it? And you sit down. That also is. But you don't reach there. Swamiji, the whole thing is a bluff. I have tried it three, four years. I have been regularly meditating. You are not. What you pronounce as meditation is wrongly, is a spelling mistake. It is a meditation. M-A-D and not M-E-D. <laughs> Sit down and wonder, why? Because of the old person. Old habit. So by merely knowing, even though you know everything, Balavati Vasana Anadi Resha, these individuals, Anadi, beginningless, from the beginningless time, this Vasana that has come to you, from the first known apprehension of the reality onwards, the vasanas have bundled up mountains of vasanas. These va because of these vasanas, Belavati, very powerful, you cannot ignore him. The moment you say, Hey, Sri Ram, where is Ram Rao nowadays? His daughter was very good. Bus. Who are you gone? What has Ramarao to do with Ram? But that is your vasana. Old vasanas. Fosin. Karta bhokta hamidi. Because of those vasanas, you come to play in this world of plurality as karta bhokta. That I am the doer, I am the experiencer, enjoyer. I am the seer, hearer, smeller, taster, toucher, feeler, thinker. I am the one that is suffering the pains and agonies and sorrows and agitations and, and rest, I mean, and uh, disgust and despair and despondency. Ay, 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 ay. The ego is crystallized. Which is the expression of all the vasanas. Crystallized vasana is the ego. This is very powerful. Dhrida yasya samsara hedu. This dhrida, very firm. It is not easy to remove it. This is samsara hedu. The cause for samsara. The cause for their continuing in the experience of change. You are not able to recognize the one infinite reality. Pratyak drishtya. By turning your attention upon yourself. Pratyak, within. Within in the sense that we have withdrawn our mental attention from all the objects of the world outside. The BMI and OET. Pratyak drishtya, atmani nivasata. Those who are thus come to live continuously in the atman, the self. No more turned outward but turned totally within and come to experience this new awakened state of consciousness. Sapame, sapaneya prayatna, this vasanas are to be ended. By turning your attention to him. <laughs> and if you are thus turning towards me, 
I shall save you from all sins. Christianity is the same, Mohammedanism the same, Hinduism the same. Turn to me, I shall save you, Christianity. But if you are turned towards the devil, I cannot help you. Devil, the plurality, the sensuality. But turn to me, I can save you. That's when you are constantly trying to turn your attention towards the Atman, the Self, in regular meditation. Slowly, slowly, the Vasanas get exhausted. The ego becomes thinner and thinner. The idea that I am the act, doer and the, the agent, or the doer and the experiencer, he slowly goes away. This is not an easy thing. We don't promise you that you have got a red carpet treatment. In spirituality, this way, sir, this way, sir, here is God. Meet. No, no. Prayatnad. With effort. Because you had to fight against millions of years of false living, mountains of asanas and tendencies, but all of them will be burned down in no time the moment you turn towards him. Thus, by continuous practice, a regular sadhana, Bring about this change in yourself by reading the book or writing down the notes or even contest. Swamiji, Vivek Chudamani, contest ho gaya. It's the tragedy of Vivek Chudamani <laughs> that it has come into your throat. It is not going to help you. I read it every day. No, who are the... How much of it has come into you? What is the change that is bringing about or coming about in you? That is the important thing to be understood. Pratyak drishtya atmanin vasata sapaniya prayatnaad with effort. Muktim prahu tadiha. This is called mukti. Mukti Marga and ultimately Mukti. This is Mukti. The Rishis call this as Mukti. What? Munaya by the great Rishis. They call this as Mukti. Both as the way to Mukti and reaching the Mukti. Vasana Tanavam Yada. That which is, what is the Mukti path? Vasana Tanavam. Destroy the vasanas that are there already in you. The tendency to entertain desires and agitations and activities in the world outside in the false hope that the world of objects, emotions and thoughts can give me satisfaction, happiness and contentment. This value, values for the world outside is so powerful in us. Turn your attention towards him. There you start discovering, experiencing a larger peace, a gr greater satisfaction. And once you start gaining that inner subtle fulfilling so joy and bliss of contemplation, nobody will leave it. You have set on the path. And once you are set on the path, you continue. And as you continue turning your attention away from the OET and BMI, you are exhausting the vasanas. The ego is thinning out and dying. Without the ego, the vasana cannot function. The doership was of the ego. The doer, the actions alone can have the reaction or the results of it. 
the ego ends. Whether there is Bhakti Vasana in the mountain or not, it doesn't matter. There is no one to claim it. The Vasana cannot affect you. Continue. <clears throat> 